Hello everyone, my name is Sudhir and in this uh, short blog, I'm going to walk you through how we can set up Azure Databricks Unity Catalog data sources and run the scans within Microsoft uh, Purview. And the whole idea is uh, of this blog is to help you uh, quickly set up the scan uh, under Purview and uh, walk through what all steps are required uh, in the configuration, right? So if you uh, go to the new uh, data governance portal, uh, and when you go to the data source, when you search for the Databricks, you will see that we have this new Azure Databricks Unity Catalog uh, data source. So I can just go ahead and click on that and click on continue. Uh, the first thing is, uh, it's asking me the data source name. Uh, I can provide the data, data source name as per the convenience. Uh, and then it required me to the meta store ID, right? So if I go to my Azure Databricks environment, uh, and if I let me just go on to the account console. So if you're, let me just move this on the side. Okay, so if you uh, are new to the Databricks or first time setting up, uh, this scan, um, what you need to do is uh, once you go to your workspaces uh, in Databricks, uh, you can actually go and uh, click your name and then you can click on the manage account. And if I go on to my catalog, if I go to my Meta stores. Uh, so that's the name of the Meta store. Uh, so I can actually go ahead and copy this Meta store ID, which is there on the address bar. A uh, little surprising to me that it's uh, it should be presented over here. Uh, the best way I found is either I can copy from the URL. Uh, or I can get it from here, right? So anyhow, uh, let's copy this and let's provide this meta store ID here. And then I'll just go ahead and register this, right? Now I've already registered this uh, Databricks Unity Catalog data source, as you can see over here. Uh, the next thing is I'm gonna configure the scan. So if I click on the new scan that I want to do is, there are a few things that I need to put here. Now, before I go and do that, I need to make sure that this MSI has the appropriate permissions on my Databricks uh, Unity Catalog, right? So if you're not sure about what is this uh, MSI, uh, for example, if you go in any of the sources, for example, if I show you the Azure Data Lake storage, um, you will see that you know it has a managed identity. Now, what that means is whenever um, there's a new Purview account that has been created, uh, it will have the same name as a managed entity created in the Microsoft Intro ID, right? So if I copy this and uh, probably go back to my Azure portal, and if I go, so you're probably gonna go to your enterprise application, and then you're going to search for the application ID. And you can see this is my MSI. So if I could just click on that, uh, I can find out more information about the application IDs or um, object ID, right? So I'm going to need this application ID uh, to configure this MSI in my Azure Data Unity Catalog, right? So I'll just copy this one. And the first thing that I'm going to do is, once I copy this, is I'll just go at the account level. And I'll go to the user management. I'll go to the service principle. And I'll click on the add service principle. Right. So it's going to be my uh, manage intro ID, right? Uh, so I'll just select that and then 
as I mentioned, we need this application ID. So you can see it's asking for me the application ID, right? Not the object ID, but the application ID. So I provide this application ID over here. And then it's asking me for this service principal name. So I'll go back and copy this service principal name as well. And I'll go to my account console and I'll just provide that, right? And then click on add. Now, once I click on add, because I've already added, I'll just cancel this. And now you can see this is has been added at the account level, right? Now what I'm going to do is um, I'll next step is I'll probably going to go uh, at the workspace level. The next step is I just want to make sure that um, I have this MSI at the workspace level as well. So if I go uh, to my workspace level, so if you go your ADB workspace, if you go to the settings, if you go identity and access, uh, go to the service principle, you should be able to see uh, your MSI. If not, then you can actually go ahead and again add it over here, right? So you search for your service, uh, sorry, click on the add new, and then again, search for the intra ID and provide the intra application ID and service principle name, and this is go ahead and add it, right? Now, uh, once I'm done with that, I'll actually already have a catalog created. Uh, I'm going to provide the permission at the catalog level as well, uh, so that uh, you can scan the catalogs that I'm providing the permissions to, right? So I've already created this uh, my test catalog. And if I go to the permissions, I can say um, grant permission, and then I can select the uh, principal ID. Uh, so it was, I'll just give the name of it. Uh, there you go, this one, right? So I'll just select this one uh, and I'm going to say, okay, let's use catalog and schema and then just go ahead and give the read uh, permission. Okay. And just click on the ground. Now, once you're done with that, uh, you will see that uh, it applies those privileges to the service principle on this object. Right? Please check the permissions on the SQL warehouse uh, that you're using. So here I'm just going to go to the SQL warehouse. And if I go to the permission, I will make sure that MSI has the permissions to use this SQL database. Now, once I'm done with that, I'll go back uh, to my data sources um, and I'll click on scan. And then we have the MSI, um, so now I need to provide the workspace URL. Um, I can quickly copy paste this workspace URL. And I will provide the path for my SQL warehouse endpoint. So let's copy and paste that. Right now, once I'm done with that, I'll just click on test connection. And I can see the connection successful. I'll click on continue and I'll just say, you know, set a scan trigger for once and then I'll continue. Once the scan is complete, um, you can see there's a one scan that has been done. There are 38 uh, assets that have been discovered. And out of that, there are 27 assets that has been classified, right? Uh, I can go to the scan name, then I can get uh, more details uh, if I want to. Now, if I go uh, to Unified Catalog, uh, go into the discovery, click on data asset. Let's search if we have metadata coming from Unity Catalog. So if I click on the data source type and you can see now the Azure Database Unity Catalog is here. So I'll just click on this filter. And once I click on this, I'll be able to see all the meta data that is coming from there. Okay. So that's all for this blog. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.